I wanted to give you a quick tour of Zomnio, our new cloud call center platform. Zomnio is a complete IVR and ACD platform in the cloud. It integrates seamlessly into existing Cisco technologies such as Cisco Call Manager and Cisco Spark. It also sits on top of the Cisco Tropo API, which is a very powerful platform. As we log in here, what you're going to see first is that we're a true multi-tenant platform. This is perfect if you run a managed service organization and want to be able to manage all of your clients centrally. It's great for HCS. It's also great for large organizations, which may have multiple agencies that need separate reporting and what feels to be separate call centers. So we're gonna take a look here, and when we log into one of our tenants, what we're gonna see is our real-time dashboard. This graph and these numbers will change as calls come in. This is meant to be a basic overview of our call center. Um, we can do things like um, dig down into uh, certain apps, uh, for example, um, almost all of my calls have been in store demo versus uh, Walmart. You can see there's almost been none. Um, we've got uh, a small call history here, as well as logging our incoming text messages and voicemails that have been received. Let's take a look at one of the apps. So we're going to go here to store demo. Um, we're going to see a time zone. This is used for controlling uh, time of day for the app. Our first language and our voice here are used to control our text-to-speech. We support 40 languages of text-to-speech, as well as 40 languages of speech recognition. On every call flow. Let's take a look at the call flow editor. What we've done is built a true drag and drop uh, HTML5 and JavaScript editor. It's very powerful. You can see we can drag it around here. We can drag around individual elements. Um, so what we're going to do is just make a small easy change. We're going to get rid of this prompt um, which was on number nine and now what we're going to do is we're going to say press six to here all right, so we're going to drag a prompt over here. We're going to click on six and pull it over here. And we'll see, for example, we could read text. We could play an existing file. We could choose to upload or record a new one. But for right now, what we're going to do is read some text. OK, we're going to save this. Let's just take a look. We can see some of the features that we have here. Every single change that we make is versioned and saved. So we can take a look here in an old version of the script. That's great. Also, when we take a look, we can do things like pages. So we can create separate pages for very large scripts. So what we're going to do is just call in and test our change here that we've made. Welcome to Walmart. Press 1 for a smart store locator. Press 2 for a transfer. Press 4 for speed track. Press 6 to hear our hours. Press 8 for bill queue. We're going to press 6. We are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So that was cool. Let's, let's check out some speed track, though. So here we're going to ask the question yes or no in our keyword step. Under here, we've got two paths, the yes and no. These are our individual words or statements that we're going to listen for. So we have yes, yeah, and okay, and no, and no. This means that I can say okay and I'll go down the yes path. I'm going to call in now and say okay. Welcome to Walmart. Press 1 for a smart store locator. Press 2 for a transfer. Press 4 for speed track. Press 6 to hear our hours. Press 8 for yes or no. Okay. You said yes. As you can see there, that was pretty easy. For our last example, we're going to create a smart store locator with our rest step. So here, we're going to press 1 for our smart store locator. We're going to use the digit step and say, please enter your five-digit zip code while naming this box zip code. This is important so we can capture the data and pass it along. Down here, we're going to use our REST API, passing in the zip code value that we collected in the previous step. We can see here, we can configure this in all different ways. We have post, get, we can send authentication, we can send custom HTTP headers. This makes it easy to consume services like Salesforce, Cisco Spark, Zendesk, ServiceNow, basically anything. From here, we're gonna name that step Walmart, which means all of our data that we get back in our API call will come back in the Walmart variable. We're going to look for the first store, which is why we're getting uh, array value zero and read back its street address. We'll then send a text message file. Welcome to Walmart. Press 1 for a smart store locator. Please enter your five digits. 
The nearest store to you is 8322 Pine Dill Matthews Road, Charlotte, 28,226. And so we can see here, um, that was right back fine. Now, sometimes creating these apps can be really difficult, but we try and make it easy. So we're going to take a look at the call logs here. We're going to look at the most recent call that I just made. It's very easy to see that in zip code dot value, we took in 28210. And in Walmart uh, array zero street address, we took in um, 8322 Pineville Matthews Road. What's really interesting is if you noticed in that previous script, we actually did not get the proper state. It was blank there, even though it was in the script. That's because I just noticed that we had an error. So what we're gonna do is go down and we have Walmart zero state, but noticing in my debugs, it was actually state province code. So now we're going to save this. And we're gonna call back in and we should hear NC this time. Welcome to Walmart. Press one for a smart store located. Please enter your five digits. The nearest store to you is 8322 Pine Dill Matthews Road, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28226. As you can see, that time it said North Carolina. Thank you so much for your time. The next video will be on ACD.